Variables are important topic that you need to learn for MATLAB programming, and if you are interested in learning variables, please stay tuned. I will start with what are variables, how to use variables, variable syntax. You can find the timestamps next to each topic, and please feel free to skip around to find what you need. Variables are virtual storage space for numeric, boolean, and text data. We need to name the variable with English alphabet A to Z, either lower or uppercase, or a combination of English alphabet, numeric number, and underscore. For numeric data, you can save the numeric data as an integer, floating, or complex numbers. For boolean, you can use true or false as a logical expression. This will be used typically for conditional and or loop statements, which we will revisit later. If you have not heard about the Boolean expression before, please do not worry and please keep on watching. For text data, you can have a single character, for example, capital M. When you have more than one character, for example, MATLAB, you need to have more than one data storage space. MATLAB offers 1D array. The 1D array has a multiple storage space in a row to save the multiple characters, so-called string. So, we need to use a string data type for text. The main benefit of using variables instead of directly using the data themselves is that we can reuse them by calling the variables' names when you need it. I will talk about the benefits of using variables more details later. Let's practice how to create variables. Here are basic rules to follow to create the variables. First, you need to start with the variable name followed by equal sign. Then type expression afterward. The expression can be either numbers, mathematical expression, boolean, string, another variables, or a combination of them. For example, to create the variable to hold a number 2, you can type a equal sign followed by 2 and hit enter in the command window. If successfully created, you can see the variable a having the integer 2. Alternatively, you can see the content of the variable in the workspace. It shows the variable name, data size, and value. You can also check the value of the variable by double-clicking the variable in the workspace. This function is useful when you have 1D or 2D array data. We'll talk about this later. You can also type who's in the command window to see the same information. Now, what if I use the same variable name that you used before, but a different expression? For example, a equal to 3, it will update the previous value with the new value. Now, a becomes 3. You can also use a mathematical expression to create a variable. I would like to create a variable b to assign the result of 1 plus 3 divided by 2. So you can see the result of b, which is 2. You can also create a variable c by assigning the data given in the existing variable b. To do this, type c equals sign followed by b. You can see the variable c, which is 2. Also, you can create the variable d by adding 1 to existing variable c. You can use the same variable in the left and right side of the equal sign just like a equal to a plus 1. In math, this expression is not correct as the variable a in both sides cancel out and 0 is not equal to 1. However, in the programming language, this should be translated in a different way. The a on the left hand side of equal sign is considered as a new variable name even though you already had it. The a on the right hand side is considered as an expression. Basically, this expression is translated as we create the variable a by assigning a plus 1. In this case, we already have 3 in the variable a. We add 1 to 3 to update variable a with 4. In other words, we replace a on the left side with 4. This expression is very useful to replace it by itself without creating a new variable when you write a code in future. The boolean is needed to check if the logical statement is true or false. We can create a variable for boolean expression. For example, you can create a variable f for the logical true statement by having f equals 
one less than two. You do not need to have a parenthesis, but I include it on purpose to increase the readability. If you type f equals one greater than two, you can see the Boolean result as a false because one is not greater than two. We'll revisit the Boolean expression for more detail later. So far, we created five variables, a to f, except e. We sometimes use e for other purposes, entering format numbers, and etc. For example, 1e2 stands for 100, which is 1 times 10 to the power of 2. To avoid any potential confusions, I do not personally use e for the variable name. To check the variable names used so far, you can type who. To delete the variable, you can use clear followed by the variable name. For example, if you want to delete variable A, you can use clear A. Now, you can see no variable name A. If you want to delete all the variables at once, you can use clear or clear all. Now you wiped off all the variables. There are a few different things that you need to be careful about the variable names. First, the variable name must not include special characters or any empty space. A exclamation mark BC does not work because of exclamation mark. A space BC cannot be used because of the space between A and B. Next, you cannot start with numbers. 1 ABC does not work either since you cannot start with the numbers for the variable name. Variable names are case sensitive and ABC all lowercase is different from ABC with uppercase A. Variable names should be the always in the left side of the equal sign to create variables, not right side of the equal sign. For example, 2 equals A does not work. To create the variable name for text, your text should be enclosed by two single or double quotation marks. For example, you can create C underscore text for MATLAB. Without using single or double quotation marks, you will get an error. It says undefined, meaning that it considers MATLAB as a variable name, but it has never been used before, so it gives us an error. Thanks for watching this video until the end, and please subscribe my channel if you want to continue to watch tutorial videos in science, technology, engineering, and math. Please give thumbs up if you enjoyed. Please feel free to share your thoughts in comment section down below. See you next time.